Hey guys, I'm Chad Hoover. Welcome to today's video where I'm going to talk about does kayak color matter? Fish on. That's a toad, brother. Golly. All right, guys, so listen, I get this question all the time. Does kayak color matter? And I really get it for two reasons. One, people ask me this question, does it matter to the fish? And secondly, people ask the question, like, why do you fish out of a camo boat or a dark colored boat? Wouldn't you be safer in a brighter colored boat? So we're going to talk about both of those. Uh, first and foremost, I'll attack the fishing part, okay? For me, the brighter colored the boat is, the more likely it is to spook fish because lighter colors reflect more light than darker colors do. So I don't think that kayak color matters for catching fish. I've caught giant fish from bright green boats, but if you're not paying attention to the sun angle, the position of your kayak and things like that, a brighter colored boat does have a tendency to reflect more light, which will play into the visibility discussion, but I like darker colored boats because I don't want to be seen by other boats. I like darker colored boats because if you've ever watched a football player, baseball player, or whatever, and they got that eye black under their eyes, that's so that when the sun hits the sweat on their face, it doesn't reflect into their eyes and blind them. So I like a darker colored boat for the same reason. I spend a lot of time fishing in the bright sun and I don't want the boat to be bright and, and, and shine up and blind me. Uh, I also do a lot of filming. And so in the middle of the day, if you've got a brighter colored boat, it's a lot harder to film. Your camera over the back is getting blown out. And so that's kind of a couple of variables for me. But personally, again, the whole eye black thing, I like a darker boat so it doesn't blind me, it makes it easier for me to see the fish, especially when I'm sight casting. And I, again, I don't really want to be seen by other anglers in many cases. But I also don't really buy into the argument that a brighter colored boat's gonna help you be seen by boats. And I'll tell you the number one reason that I say that. About 75% of the time when you're vulnerable to boat traffic, they're only seeing the back of your boat. They're only seeing you from behind. And so this is gonna be another situation where I'm like, practice what I preach, not what I do, but I do this if necessary. In other words, I use a black paddle for the same reason. When I'm moving that paddle around, I don't want this bright thing spooking fish. But if you want to be seen, switch to a brighter blade paddle and brighter clothing. The worst color you can wear is something light colored or white colored. And let me explain that. In chop, in wind, in surface agitation on the water, everything's white. So you're gonna blend in. Your yellows, your oranges, your bright greens, those are the things that are gonna stick out. But the thing that's gonna help you be seen more than anything else is something that's moving. So if you want to be seen, I would opt for a bright colored paddle blade. And in situations where I'm fishing around a lot of boat traffic, I'll switch to this paddle and a bright green uh, or an orange because when I'm paddling from behind, again, that's like a blinker, okay? From the side, your visibility is more you your color of your PFD, your color of your clothing, the color of your hat. So if I'm fishing in a high traffic area, then I'm gonna have on a bright colored shirt, a brighter colored PFD, and, and maybe even a bright colored hat. And then another uh, item, product, that I will tell you is worth its weight in gold is this dude right here. And the reason it's worth its weight in gold is you don't always see it on my boat, but it's always on my boat. Uh, and this is the VisiCarbon Pro from uh, Yak Attack. And the reason that this thing is so awesome is because you can have it stuck in a hatch, you can stick it in your black pack, you can stick it under your seat, but when you get ready to deploy it, you simply pull this little cord off right here and do what I call the drop technique and it all just kind of snaps together. So it's basically made with carbon fiber tent poles. It's got this little cord here to secure it. And then it's got these quick snaps and a flag. Now I keep it ready to deploy like I just did. Uh, it's got a light on the top. You just tighten that globe up, it lightens up and it lights up. And then it's also got very highly reflective, reflective tape on the back of it in both orange and white. But the reason this thing is so cool is that if that boat's even moving a little bit, that flag is just waving back and forth. So if you've just got the slightest amount of movement, that flag just kind of goes back and forth. So you've got this white globe out there moving around. You've got this reflective stuff for early and late and nighttime and you got this orange flag just out there uh, flying around. Another thing that I like to do is take this flag and at nighttime put it over the top and turn the globe on and it makes the whole bag kind of glow an orange color which is going to give you a soft subtle light. It's not going to attract insects and it's going to still illuminate you enough that you can see what you're doing. 
Um, so again, this bag is also, the flag is also the bag. You can open that up. You can fold your Visit Carbon Pro up and stiff, stuff it inside there. But I like to keep it rigged and ready. Basically, I break it down just like so. I take my bungee cord, move it out of the way, wrap my flag around a couple of wraps. And then I take the bungee and just go around basically two and a half times, hook it over the globe. That thing is rigged and ready. So for me, kayak color isn't very important for being seen and it's also not important for fish attraction or you know spooking fish okay i firmly believe a darker boat is better but i don't think you're really going to have to worry about that bright colored boat spooking fish again if you're in a situation where the sun is shining on you and you're putting your shadow on the fish you're probably going to spook the fish from your shadow you're probably going to spook the fish from your movement more than the color of your kayak uh, i just don't like it because it's bright and it blinds me in the sun i also Here's the thing, the whole argument about having a bright colored boat to be seen by boat traffic, to me, if it's that much boat traffic, I'm just gonna find somewhere else to fish. I'm gonna go to some backwaters, I'm gonna go to a river, uh, or again, I'm gonna focus on my paddle color, my shirt color, and also having that Visit Carbon Pro on the back of my fishing kayak. Because again, like I said, 95% of the time when you're vulnerable, the boat is seeing you from behind, uh, or the boat that should see you is coming from behind and that's when you can't see what's going on and you're you're not you don't have a very big profile anyway and the back of your kayak the color of your kayak is a really small spot the color of your paddle blade the color of your clothing the color of your hat that flag on the back of your boat that's going to help you be seen um, but again don't rely on that your job is to not get run over having a bright colored vest on and running out and playing in traffic ain't smart but it's like i got a bright colored vest on so they can see me no that's why traffic workers wear that stuff but you you shouldn't get out there and just expect boats to make way for you you should be the the, the captain or the master of your own vessel and make sure that you're safe so again my number one thing is avoid those type of situations i get it in some cases it's not avoidable especially when you're fishing tournaments during the time when wreck traffic is really heavy but again your pfd is not in number one your paddle number two your clothing number three and uh, add something like a Visit Carbon Pro uh, flag to increase your visibility. So to answer the question that I get all the time, I don't think kayak color matters for visibility or spooking fish one way or the other. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you found something useful out of it. And I'll see y'all in the next one.